the remaining part is configuring the router these are the main steps you have, you have to follow you have to go into advanced setup now you have to select uh, layer 2 interface and then you have to select the eth interface that means ethernet interface here you have to click on add now it is showing already ethernet lan port 4 and you don't need to change this option you just have to apply and save it now it got created here now again go back to advanced setup and now this time choose van service now add the same LAN port here as a van that is what our main aim we are converting LAN port 4 into a van port see these are the two options available to you if you are using a internet which i mean internet service provider who provided you a username and password you have to key in those things to get uh, internet access every time or your router is configured with this username and password or auto login facilities enabled by default then you have to choose this ppp over ethernet thing first option or if your internet service provider is assigned one specific IP address to your connection and using a Mac binding facility then you have to use the second one as of now I'm using a internet provider who is doing a Mac binding so I am selecting this thing you have to contact your internet service provider to get it cleared I will tell you at what time you have to contact your internet service provider after doing this step either you contact your internet provider first and get clarity about this thing that they are using a Mac binding functionality or using a login ID and password they are authenticating to give internet access I'm go going ahead I'm going to do this here I don't need to do anything because they will assign IP automatically using a MAC address they are giving a availability Usually most of the internet service providers nowadays using a Mac binding system because with that system you can't share your internet uh, one connection with a multiple users. You can share via wirelessly or using that router. <laughs> now I'm going here. Now enable NAT and enable firewall and click next in case it's already in selected default uh, gateway interfaces in case if this is like this you have to select it and bring it to left side you can leave it as it is it's already there so i'm going to click next these are the things we have done so far this is a summary I'm just going to click apply now it's not is configured now you have to go back to advanced setup again and then you have to go to 3G or 3G connection depends on your thing oh, sorry not 3G you have to go to 3G connection and then here you have to choose Ethernet as a primary link. 
now leave the things rest of the things like that as it is apply and save now i'm going back to device info and advanced setup one more time you have to set up uh, your wireless password and all the things as usual as we have updated a firmware already that security and everything already got erased you have to set it like that you have to set it anything whatever ssid you want to set you can set it and apply save under wireless security it is taking time now ssid got updated now under security authentication type is none that means it is open now you have to set some password i'll set it later now you just need to reboot your device i forgot to share you uh, if you are using internet service provider who is providing internet based on mac binding please contact your internet service provider before starting this process and ask them to remove the mac binding for for some time inform them that you are going to change the router now so please disable mac binding for some time i'll call you back and i'll tell you once i change the router you can set the mac binding to that new router in this case your router's mac address which is getting displayed in device info page is not the mac address that is that will be displayed to your internet service provider that will be almost same but the last one or two letters may change in my case the same thing happened instead of a0 it is getting reflected as a4 for my service provider so what they suggested is if you are going to do these kind of things please contact us in prayer so that we will remove the mac binding for some time and the new mac id will be get updated in our system we will bind your connection with that new mac id in that in this way you will get a, a internet uh, for sure because everything you did correctly but uh, still you may not receive the internet because of this mac binding system this is a one kind of security feature they are using like that that's so don't hesitate to contact your internet service provider we are paying for it so no problem and just now let's connect the now let's connect the ethernet cable to the port 4 now i'm going to connect i'm leaving this as it is i'm now going to connect ethernet cable to this port number 4 i have already contacted my internet service provider just connected and tested and i got the, and i asked them to bind my mac this new mac address to my connection they binded it and i got this internet light on let's just go to pc and check where i'm able, able to get internet or not And you are going to see this internet light is on it got connected to my router my router is hanging over there 
because the data limit cable is uh, very short. Now you can see internet is active. Internet access it is showing. And now I'm going to test the connection. Yeah, it's working fine. I'm doing a speed test for just checking. This is the Google speed test page. I'm getting 20 megabits per second as promised by my ISP. I'm getting uh, around 20 megabits per second upload speed as well. It's 18 only, not 20. It's okay. This is wired one. Now I'm going to uh, remove the Ethernet cable. Now I'm going to connect to Wi Fi. This is the SSID we have set just now. I just kept it open for some time. It, it got connected and it is showing open. I'm going to close this page and reload the page. I have reloaded this page so that I, I'm just confirming you guys that I have connected to this D-Link, whatever we have updated right now to that router only this is the google page what else we can open a youtube this is our channel page please do like it if you like the video please do like this video and don't forget to comment if you face any issue i'll try to help you so that's all for this video i think this is the very lengthy video but i tried to explain everything very clearly you may not find this kind of video in youtube with this much explanation so please do subscribe to our channel do not forget to like this video and share this video with your friends and show the support. Bye bye.